Hello children welcome back to your english class children this is your book new pathways in the previous video we have started chapter 1 unit 1 section 1 a hero we have done the starter activity also i have shared the animation of the story with you i hope all of you have seen the animation children also i have discussed with you the new words of the chapter now today children i am going to share the correct answers of reading one question one the question which i gave you in the previous video as your activity c question one tick the most suitable option a for swami events took an unexpected turn in the beginning of the story suggests that the correct answer for this statement is swami least expected father to react that way see i have put a tick mark there now page number 17 b father's intent in telling swami the story was to what was father's intention father's intention was to help swami become brave and courageous then see swami's father said leave alone strength can you prove you have courage here father was see father wasn't joking father was serious yes father was serious but what was father's intention father wants to challenge swami so the most suitable option for this statement is challenging see the third one now children see question 2 question 2 are question and answers that uh, we will be doing in the next video today we are focusing on the vocabulary part now children all of you see page number 18 vocabulary see vocabulary compound words now what are compound words see the word itself suggests compound compound is to mingle any two things to mix any two things here we have to mix two words the combination of two words which in turn forms a new word for example see here newspaper here two words are there news and paper but when we combine these two words it forms a new word newspaper grown up grown is a different word up is a different word but with a hyphen now what is hyphen hyphen is a small dash children when we add these two words with a hyphen it becomes a new word with a new meaning grown up fine then brand new two different words brand and new okay but when we mix them together it forms a new word brand new now see the yellow box compound words are formed when two or more words are combined together to make one word that's what i have explained you right now okay now we can also say compound words as hyphenated words why hyphenated words because this punctuation mark okay this is called hyphen okay and in most of the compound words we use this hyphen between the two words now please don't be confused children it is not compulsory that in the compound words always we have to use this hyphen see in newspaper there is no hyphen but still it's a compound word okay now see question 1 combine the words in the box below to form compound words that describe people okay children make sure you have to make the com compound words that describes the qualities okay of people examples two examples are there good looking now good good is a separate word looking is a separate word but when we add a hyphen in between it becomes a new compound word good looking fine like smart long legged now see this box this one see how many words are there yes now what you have to do as per your 
understanding okay you just brainstorm fine you just trigger your mind and you have to add two two words together with a hyphen or without a hyphen to make a new compound word for example middle now let's just check middle length no middle fit no middle shoulder no middle well no middle length yes okay so we can say middle length okay now we can say complexion yes and one more word is there tanned we can add these two words tanned complexion yes tanned complexion then we can say um, just a second curly see curly is here curly also is your hair so curly hair again is a new compound word so in this way children you have to make some compound words now see question 2 describe the images of these two people using compound words children please look into your book see two pictures are given here okay two men written wanted now you have to frame an article okay with the given clues okay and you have to use maximum compound words here see one i have done for you as a practice see first of all see this man okay name michael jones any name we can say michael jones comma a middle aged man now by looking at the picture we come to know that the person is not very young not very old he is a middle aged man so a middle aged man with shoulder length hair dark complexioned and good looking is wanted by the police for a robbery so how many compound words we have used here middle aged shoulder length dark complexioned and good looking four in this way children you have to complete this one with your understanding with your uh, you know you have to choose the compound words here to complete this one okay so this is your activity you have to do it in your book with pencil now children come to page number 19 see question 3 use compound words to complete the following conversation here is a conversation between two girls nafisa and mona okay and three blanks are there just go through the conversation very well okay and add three compound words which suits with the given conversation don't worry children i'll share with you the answer sheet of all these questions tomorrow okay but right now first of all you just try it now the last thing turn the page it's very important page number 20 punctuation yes punctuation fine there are some basic rules of punctuation and i think you all know about the punctuation marks see here this is full stop okay you all know when to use a full stop at the end of every sentence question mark okay when we ask something single inverted double inverted exclamation and apostrophe so these are the basic punctuation marks now a few basic rules of punctuation are given below choose the appropriate answer from the ones provided and fill in the blanks to complete the rules now children here in this blue box five answers are given set of a clause piece of dialogue letters in contraction piece cut off and exclamation point okay now you have to fill the blanks with the appropriate answer now see the first one a sentence may end with a period now see children full stop okay full stop also we can say as a period 
a sentence may end with a period a question mark or okay what is the third punctuation mark we can generally used at the end of a sentence you have to choose the proper answer now second the comma gets its name from the greek comma meaning a now what do you understand by comma why and where we use comma okay so you have to find out the correct answer now see the third one the semicolon colon and dash can be effective when used sparingly sparingly is sometimes very short like the comma the colon originally referred to a section of a poem later it came to denote a clause in a sentence and finally a mark that okay here they are asking about the semicolon so find out the correct answer then fourth one the apostrophe is used to signify possession or to show the omission okay of now of what now see for example do not we can also write do not as don't yes what we have done we have omitted this o and applied this punctuation mark apostrophe for example rams yes apostrophe this apostrophe shows anything which belongs rams rams house if we will not apply this punctuation mark this apostrophe so it becomes rams rams means so many rams yes so this is very very important punctuation mark children now the last one quotation marks are used in pairs to set off a quotation or now where we use these quotations to show the direct speech i'll show you one example given in your chapter only see children see page number 15 second parag sorry second paragraph what is written i yo something has bitten me this statement is written in double inverted why because as it is it is written as it was said by someone fine children so this is the use now read this statements again very carefully with the answers and choose the answers perfectly now these are the vocabulary and book exercises which you have to do fine i'll share you the answers of these exercises tomorrow evening on telegram app only you can cross check it so that's it for today in the next video we will start doing the question and answers till then take care of yourself have a nice day